blood to the beat with my hopes and my dreams like a boat in the sea let it ride from the west to the east be the best you can be let the rest rest in peace while i try what's goody fam you already know who it is it's shaka shine and i'm coming back at it with another reaction on shaka shine reacts today i gotta give a big old shout out to nicholas their request was downside and this is less fortunate now for the people that have been hitting that have been hitting that like button hitting that subscribe button hitting that comment button you know me i gotta give credit when credit's due and y'all deserve all the credit so i gotta say thank you i really appreciate every single one of y'all i can't stress that out enough now with that being said some of y'all are still sleeping on my music i make music and i got a song out every single friday of 2021 if you want to check out my music links right underneath the like button for the people that are waiting on their requests as you can see we're getting to every single one of y'all but set it put on the list it's on the list and it's coming up but you can always skip the line by hitting me with a donation again links right underneath the like button and i'll make sure i get your reaction out within 72 hours now as far as downside goes new to me new to the channel um y'all been giving some great requests so i assume that this is going to be pretty good also i think it's going to be pretty good because um this is hilarious obese records fatter than your mama like come on now <laughs> come on now uh anyway so i assume that this is going to be a pretty good uh pretty good song at least hopefully it's funny if not good so um also just so you guys know i did just open a p.o box i'm going to start doing reaction packages reactions or unboxing reactions so if you want to be part of any of those videos the address is in the description now um like i said i don't really know anything about downside so it's new to me new to the channel and um let's find out what nicholas is trying to get us to find out Okay, first off, was not expecting this. This kind of has that island reggae feel, almost ska kind of feel, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, interesting, for sure. Let's keep it pushing. We was up, giving her two doors on the drop. Body up, up on the block, we rock. Lose your troubles to the soul of the song. I get away, feel with mad sins and beamers. Platinum chains. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm gonna be a hundred percent. Like, if you watched a couple of my reactions that I, I put out earlier, you would uh, know that I'm not. That I think that everyone should be able to live a minimum wage job and survive. That doesn't mean paycheck to paycheck. That means being able to live and have a bit of a savings. It doesn't need to be no hundred thousand dollar savings but you should be able to save some money every single month you shouldn't have to work three jobs still working paycheck to paycheck that makes no sense to me okay so uh anyways i'm messing with this downside let's go it ain't for kids rich kids or conservatives for the family man avoided a tax man burning them this is a spark for the children in the dark when cancer comes and tells them you got it apart i know we can't be the shining sun for most I'm, I'm not even going to go there. Per well, actually, I am. Period, point blank. Um, so these dudes, well, I'm not even sure. Well, it sounds like dudes. So these dudes are pretty uh, on point. It seems like they actually care. Um, they probably were born in poverty. That's probably why they care so much. Because I'm going to be 100%. I haven't really seen anybody that was legitimately raised very privileged and cared about 
about people in poverty the same way that people that were born in poverty and are now out, I feel like they have a better understanding and kind of are willing to listen to people a little bit more when they tell you their problems. That it's not just the fact that they're lazy. A lot of people just think that people aren't making it because they're lazy, which is just not true in my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's keep it pushing. Watching kids start to death. You got the power to feed them, but you ain't more success. Okay. So, first verse, amazing. All substantive content. Things that people should think about, talk about. So, it's going good so far. Let's see how this hook is. Okay, off top, I will have to say that the hook, um, them just kind of, you know what I'm saying, harmonizing, uh, letting the beat play, hey, I'm messing with it. I do like a lot of the times that people put breakdowns in their songs or they use just the beat and the feeling to kind of demonstrate the hook itself. They don't really need words. You can get it. You get all the feeling from the verses of what they're talking about. And then hooks are kind of just breaks to almost evaluate what they said. Messing with it. We won't stop giving her two doors on the drop. Buddy, hip up on the block, we rock. Lose your troubles to the soul of the song. We won't stop giving her two doors on the drop. Buddy, hip up on the block, we rock. Lose your troubles to the soul of the song. Okay. Let me actually take that back. So apparently that was the bridge that they were just kind of letting flow. Still the same thing though, I do like this because again, you get time to actually think about what they said, then it goes back into the hook. And now I assume that they're about to spit a whole bunch of more substantive content. Let's go. The less fortunate kid, not afforded to live. He's hungry, wondering when he's well, we'll all fall in. He's been living on the streets since the age of 16. Sniffing on the crime and hitting the toilet. When I see him pass up. Hey, I feel it. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, my family. Let's just put it to my family. Um, we, I'm pretty much a split family. So my mother's mother my grandmother she was very poor when i say very poor i mean they used to pretty much wear potato sacks poor okay so very much living in property now my grandma was able to make it out okay but not in the same way as in the whole family's out she made herself out and got some of her kids opportunities you know what i'm saying which again is not easy by any means you know what i mean getting yourself out of poverty especially when you have a lot of kids is not easy now my, me and myself um when i was born i would say i was born in a lower middle class um tier that's pretty much where i was born in and um for the age of 15 I ran away, didn't come back at all. I mean, we still, me and my mother talk now, but never came back. So I feel this, when he says living on the streets at 16, that was me, you know what I'm saying? And um, don't get me wrong, am I out of poverty? No, you know what I'm saying? I definitely live below the poverty line. It is what it is. Um, am I trying to get out of it? Of course, <laughs> but um, so I'm feeling this song way more than I probably need to. And I'm probably talking way more than I need to. So let's keep it pushing. Now let me take this back. Wait, 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 wait. At home. He's got no mom. Didn't even know a bum bitch. She died too young. 
He didn't know a some he died too young. His dad kicked him out of home. He's got no mom. Didn't even know a bomb bitch. He died. It sounds like he said didn't even know a bomb bitch. Is that what he said? <laughs> Cause I'm lost on that part. So uh help me out, put it in the comments. Yeah, and these politicians often just be top on the competition, not worried about the kids. It's just a business bull. This is for you, for the struggling you. When you're hitting rock bottom and there's nothing you could do, so do you, so do you and anyone alive. I dedicate this to the people who fell on hard times. Okay, so verse two. Um, I was messing with it just as much as verse one. I think maybe a little bit more than verse one. Main reason why, like I said, it kind of hit a little bit different because I was a lot in that situation that he's explaining. So, uh, back into a bridge. Hey. I'm messing with the scratching though. Let's go. I'm messing with the scratching. I don't really hear too much. Again, I'm trying to figure out the genre too. It, it's kind of like, to me, the best thing I can say is this sounds like ska to me. But um, let me know where they're from. Um, they're definitely not American. I know that. But I can't tell if they are just a, some kind of island, like tropical island or... Um, or maybe, maybe Australian. I don't think so. I'm not hundred percent sure though. Um, so yeah, help me out. Put it in the comments. Let's keep it pushing. Third world famine while the rich eat extravagant. From kings to queens to poor peasants, the commoners to the lowest denominator. Ruled our lives by evil dictators. Yeah. Developing countries in extreme debt when the IMF gives and takes triple interest. Now that's taking more than you share. Okay, see, a lot of people aren't going to listen to this stuff because they don't want to think about these things, which is sad, in my personal opinion. I think that these, this type of music is what should be topping the charts. Not just the genre, but people that are talking about real things. It's that simple. But instead, we got a whole bunch of ass-shaking music and less party music is what's essentially popping. Are too many clothes when you were on bed? Have a look at your plate next time you eat. Stand up next time you take a seat. Think about the ones who lose their sons to wars. They don't want to fight, but some countries preach peace and ignore wars. Throw their guns all out. Hmm? Preach peace, but always trying to go to war. Who does that sound like? Put it in the comments. The less fortunate couldn't give a damn. Would you be worried if you had nothing to lose, nothing to gain, nothing to prove? Fighting for a little pride left in your name. If I was frustrated, I'd be doing the same. Dropping the bomb and be killing your fame. Okay, so this whole song is great. Definitely. I'm going to have to listen to this. I know I missed some things. So I'm going to have to listen to this a couple more times. But Nicholas, great choice. All right. Now, again, Nicholas, great choice. Got to say thank you. I appreciate you. And um, I'm I'm messing with this record label, Obese Records. That that is hilarious. <laughs> Especially if their model is fatter than your mama. That is just okay. It is what it is. Now, overall, if I was gonna give this a grade, this is an easy B. Got to give it a B because it's the first time I've heard any of their stuff. And you you guys know, I don't give A's out if this is the first time I've heard something. So, easy B. Um, I think that this whole song is notable within itself just because I've lived through a lot of this. Um, I can feel it. And 
I feel like people need to have a little bit more empathy uh, for what people are saying. You know what I'm saying? I think, well, number one, people need to be more honest with themselves and others. But as long as that's going down, people also need to be more empathetic to people when they say things. And like, if someone says it's hard, and it might be, and, but it's for you it's easy, that doesn't mean that they're lying. It could be just hard for them. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So, um, and that just to bring it all full circle, I'm talking about mainly, um, so people think that people are homeless, right? For the fact that they're lazy. Don't get me wrong. Are some people homeless because they're lazy? Probably. Is that the reason why everyone's homeless? Not even close. You know what I'm saying? There are homeless people that are working seven days a week, you know what I'm saying, that are still homeless because of multiple things. One, they're not getting paid enough. Two, they might have debts that they have to pay off before. Sometimes people are just homeless because they got an eviction and now can't get a house anymore. They have the money, they just can't get the house anymore because they were evicted five years ago from a house. Like, so... That's what this makes me think of, and um, I like it because I like to be thinking about things that really need to be like truly thought about and talked about. So again, Nicholas, this was great. I'm messing with it. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. Now, if you're making it this far, you might as well hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that comment button. Let me know your favorite downside song and what else you want to see me react to. If you're already doing that and making it this far, then I gotta say thank you. I really appreciate every single one of y'all. Please don't forget about my music. I got that song out every single Friday of 2021. Links right underneath the like button. And again, don't forget about the unboxing reactions. If you wanna be part of that, the P.O. box, the address is right underneath the description. Well, right, right in the description. Anyways, with all that being said, you know I'll be back at it with another reaction tomorrow.